Bonjour. The word of the week this week is actually two words, les chaux. And it would be great if you had your mirror handy because I'm going to ask you to look at your mouth and see what's going on. Because we're going to contrast these two French words with two English words, les and show, that you might think sound pretty much the same, but let's take a look. If you look in your mirror as you say lay, or say any other word like that, pay, day, say, may, you'll notice that your jaw is moving between the vowel sound a and e, a, lay, a. You have the same situation when you go to the word show. Look in the mirror and you'll see as you say show, go, do, no, what's happening? You're going between O and O, O, O. So you have A, O. Those are called diphthongs. And why do we have diphthongs in English? Because our mouth is soft, relaxed, our jaw is very relaxed, it floats. It goes from one vowel sound to another. And that doesn't happen in French. In French, we have what we call pure vowels. The vowels are pure. They start and end on the same tone. They don't float around like that. There are no diphthongs in French. And why is that? Because in French, the mouth is held very tense. The, the cheeks are tense. The lips are more rounded. The tongue is more tense. All of the speech organs are held much more front and more tense in French. And so you say les chauds without any diphthong, without any floating from one to the other. So let's take a few contrasts here. In English, toe, in French, to. Lo, lo. Say, say. Faith, faith, faith. So if you take this sentence down here, and you were saying this with what I call the American mouth, um, without observing the purity of French vowels, you would say something like, J'ai fait du café au lait chaud. J'ai fait du café au lait chaud. And that would be with the American mouth. With the French mouth, it would be, J'ai fait du café au lait chaud. You hear the difference? Much lighter and much more melodic. So remember, to correct this situation of diphthongs in French, hold your mouth organs very, very, uh, very, very tense throughout the whole pronunciation. Enjoy this word of the week, and à la prochaine.